okay, you've decided to stick around. So I'm going to talk just really quickly about some of the other settings on here and why they're here. Um, the record settings give you a whole bunch of different choices. If you're going to be doing video work, uh, maybe you're plugging in a shotgun microphone. What's that, you may say? Well, a shotgun would be a big thing that you borrow from pets that looks something like this. You can actually plug a large mic like this into an M-Audio audio recorder. You just have to make sure you have the right adapter. Luckily, PEPS carries plenty of adapters. So something like this. This would plug into the microphone. And then this other end would plug into the audio recorder. This is when you might actually want to talk about switching the inputs from the MP3 encoder into a wave encoder. So I'm just going to toggle to the wave. You'll notice that now it says wave there. And because we're doing video, you want to make sure that it's set to 48. You'll also notice a couple of things have changed. You can actually go all the way up to 96. The reason for that is that it's reading the fact that there's a really good microphone on here and that it's, power, it's possible enough to do a higher sample rate. That's also because we switched to wave, obviously. Wave allows you a whole bunch of different choices. MP3 only allows you 48 and 44. If you want to do video, even though it seems weird to not turn it all the way up to 96, you're probably going to want to stick with 48 as your choice. 48 is a standard audio um, megahertz for your video. Once we've done that, it's 48. Everything's happy. <clears throat> Input source is the 1 8 We're still plugged into that mic jack, so that's OK. That's what we want it to be. And then we can go back to our main menu we have other microphones that you can borrow from PEPS that will work just fine too. Um, we have this little guy here. It is a mini shotgun mic. If I plug it in, um, you'll notice that this one we have to actually turn on. And now that we've turned it on, oh, there we go. Now see this one works because it's actually set up correctly and it has a battery in it. So um, this is a mini shotgun you can borrow from PEPS. Uh, they also come with these great little flash brackets that you can put the microphone onto and have a good way to hold it, um, which is good if you're doing recordings. So you might want to think about something like this if you borrow from PEPS. All right, let's talk a little bit about that in-ear microphone I was talking about. Let's actually stop that recording because we don't want to have that. Um, I'm going to go back into my menu by hitting menu. I'm going to go down to my record settings. I'm going to choose this. I'm going to change the encoded MP3 because I'm just doing MP3 here. I'm going to change my sample rate. Oh, it's at 44. Good. And I'm making sure that the input source is 1 8th. Let's jump back to this main menu. I'm going to hit menu one more time to get into this area. And we're going to talk about this little in-ear phone mic. The way these work is really simple. We um, simply, let's take this wrapping off of it so I can actually get to the microphone cable. They did a very good job of wrapping the heck out of this puppy. Come on, let go. Okay. So what we're going to do with this in-ear microphone is we're actually going to take this and plug it into the mic, just like we always have been doing. And I'm going to turn the camera around to look at me again because I have to show you something that's pretty obvious. Um, when you're going to use this kind of microphone, it's important to remember that it's in your ear and you have to use that. What do I mean by this? Well, okay, so here's the story. You have this little microphone. You put it into your ear. Okay, it's in my ear. It feels a little bit weird, but hey, it's there. All right, so then I'm going to make my phone call and talk to somebody important. I don't know who. Let's just call somebody. Actually, I'm faking the call. I'm not really talking to anybody whatsoever. So what you're going to want to do is put your phone up to the ear that actually has the microphone in it. That should be kind of simple. But because the microphone feels weird, a lot of people kind of forget. They're a little bit nervous. They're a little bit upset about the interview, kind of touchy. They don't like being on the phone, whatever. Um, and they forget. And they're like, well, that feels uncomfortable. So I'm going to talk on this phone, on this ear, and not bother about that one. And what just happened? Well, what just happened is that you've just effectively taken the other person out of the recording, and all that's recording now is your voice. So um, even though it feels weird, you do actually have to speak through this actual side of the ear. Um, then the audio will actually be recorded from the earpiece of your phone into the voice recorder that I'm actually carrying on my lap right now. So that's the way you use this little in-ear microphone. It's really simple, really easy, and you will actually get very, very good quality audio 
from the phone call, as long as your phone call is good audio, of course. So um, I think I've gone through about everything I can with the M Audio audio recorder. Uh, I've talked about the different microphones. They're all really easy to use. I've talked about the different record settings on the M Audio and the fact that you better just don't forget, plug it in the night before your interview so it has a full battery because this puppy is almost out, I'll tell you right now. If there's any more questions, you can always stop by PEPS at the Idea Lab in the White Center for Creativity at Carleton College. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye-bye.